GTCon, guys, GTCon, big shout out to them. They sponsored my entry into the Snowball Rally and I'm gonna be at GTCon the 13th through the 15th of July. If you wanna go, follow this link right here. The conference is in Anaheim, California and be sure to sign up now because come June, the conference might be full and you might not be able to go. So, follow this link, GTCon. Also, wanna give a massive shout out to CMFR Canada. Those jackets we got were unbelievable. I don't know how I would've survived. Snowball. Now, the Snowball Rally may be over, but it will live on forever. Car is looking proper. Oh man, I absolutely dig this camo. We're still kind of trying to figure out how we want to fix this front end, but for the time being, she looks great. And then as far as the Audi, continuing on with that saga, as far as the front bumper, so, I am excited to say that I did get the check from State Farm for the full $2,300 and now it's kind of like, I need to do somewhat of a cost analysis because obviously if I fix this bumper for $2,300, I'm not enhancing the car's value $2,300. And so I'm on the hunt right now for a used grill and a used front bumper. If I can get this thing repaired for five to 800 bucks, that would kind of be ideal. That's sort of the price point because you know, before the accident, the Audi was worth maybe $4,000. Now it, it definitely is worth less. And if I can fix that, there is a little value, but how much, how much value will I create by fixing that? It's definitely sad to see this car in this state because this car has so much sentimental value. The day I picked up this Audi when I was 19 years old was actually a better day than the day I picked up the Gallardo because of what it represented. It was kind of like my first, my first mission as a man, like I'd paid for this car, this dream car, with all of my own money. And so to see it in this state is just kind of heartbreaking. But I do have some exciting news. So my package has finally arrived from USPS. It's over at the PO Box. I ordered this item on the 28th of November. Today is the 10th of February. So yeah, I'm excited. Let's go get it. All right, to the post office. This is pretty much the worst weather we could imagine for today. You guys will find out very shortly. I can't believe it's finally here though. I've been wanting this to arrive for so long and it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed. When I first made the order, it was supposed to be here on the 1st of January and then it got delayed, but it's here now. United States Post Office. Oh, here we go. Note, the ski rack on the Carrera 4S. It's a Park City thing, guys, but here we go. The moment has finally arrived. It is finally here. All right. Uh, I don't, uh, I didn't bring the pocket knife with me. First off, first off, note the size of this box, okay? Note the size of this box. And then we got packing. Here she is, the DJI Mavic Pro. It's finally here. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. This is my new drone, this right here. Look how small it is. This is the remote. Oh, I can't. Why does it have to be raining today? Of all the days, the weather has been gorgeous. Oh, but look at this. Whoa, whoa. Look at that. That's so cool. So there it is. There's the Mavic. 
All right, folks, we're doing this again. So in three, two, I messed that up. I messed that up. I desperately messed that up. I totally messed that up. All right, I'm coming to a stop. There's nobody behind me. All right, let's try that again. Three, two, one, go! All right, Mavic Phantom 3. Let's just do a quick size comparison, just purely on the size of the box. Here we have the Phantom 3 Professional versus the Mavic Pro. Once again, I think we gotta get this baby charged up and ready to go. Um, what do we get? It's a nice little carrying case even too. All right, it's charging. Now we sit and we wait. Come on, charge, charge, come on. All right. It is finally a beautiful, beautiful day here in Salt Lake City. Perfect day to take the Mavic out for its first flight. So let's get her all uh, ready to go. This is so cool. I love how compact this thing is. Like I can literally take this now wherever I want. I can just throw it into my backpack and I'll always have it. I'm at 30% right now. That's obnoxious. It just decided for me that it was returning to home because the battery was too low. I'm at 17%. All right, here she comes. You can already tell that the biggest issue with the Mavic so far is gonna be the battery life. I think the battery life is around 23 minutes, so I'm gonna have to order another one of these because, well, yeah, I'm gonna need to order another battery. Where are you? Here, perfect. So my plan, I'm going to charge this battery. Cool, and we're charging. Folks, we have, wait for it, wait for it! We have a Chrome Bentley. We have a Chrome Bentley. We're here at the NYX location. This is one of my favorite spots. We're just outside of Park City. Back there is the Jordan now. It's frozen right now. And then way off in the distance is Mount Timpanogos. So it's a proper time to get the Mavic back up in the air.
right now in Utah. I love it when it's sunny, but it gets really cold when it's sunny. Okay, the Mavic is awesome. I, what can I say, I already love it. It's so much easier to fly, and it's so much more stable. So at some point I'll do a compare and contrast between my Phantom 3 Professional and the Mavic, but I mean, come on, like, just, this is amazing what this can do. I mean, I can take this literally everywhere, and I've said that so many times in this vlog already, but it's true. Like, look at that, you can't, you cannot beat this size. This thing has the follow feature, it also has obstacle avoidance. Now, I haven't gotten, I haven't read up on the follow feature yet, that is in a vlog later to come. Part of the main reason I bought this is for that exact reason, so that when I'm driving a car, I can put this thing up in the air and have it follow me and get some absolutely epic footage. Because I can tell you guys that driving and flying a drone at the same time is not advised. Not that I would ever do that. I would never do such a thing. Out the door was $1,000 for one battery. I need to buy a second battery. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it treats me well. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions on the Mavic, let me know. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video. But uh, just like that, this vlog is over. And I'm out.